It's March in Old Town Scottsdale, and normally this time of year, the restaurants, clubs, and tourist shops are packed. But the virus has emptied most of them out, leaving a lot of folks without their expected income. Lawmakers in Washington right now are working on a plan to fight that economic downturn with money. Layoffs, furloughs, closures, cancellations. The coronavirus is battering the economy. Think of that as the blood flow of income and spending in the economy. That blood flow is coming to a screeching halt. Social distancing, isolation and quarantines have shut down entire industries. And the result is a drop in demand. People stuck at home aren't buying much and are worried about the jobs they can't do while stuck at home. So to keep that, that blood flow flowing in the economy, it makes sense for the, uh, for the government to do a substantial, uh, I would say, blood infusion. So far, lawmakers have not agreed to the exact details of the stimulus, nor who would get it. One plan suggests $1,000 to every American with individual income below $75,000 per year. That would only cover one-fifth of average household spending. So you really want to look at the spending of households that are not the average household, but below the average household. A thousand dollar check, though, would mean a lot to a lot of people, but not all agree. Giving them money? No. I, I, I disagree with just giving money to, to make things work. I'm all for free money. It could be a good thing, but it also will would put us more in debt as a as a country. Yes, I am still being paid. But if they send me money, I would probably put it towards student loans. In Old Town Scottsdale, Mitch Carr, 12 News.